Fellas, are you broke on Valentine's Day? Are you tripping right now because your girl's been watching The Bachelor and she's expecting some super over-the-top, extravagant, romantical, expensive shit and you don't know what to do? It's okay, because you don't need to spend that Valentine's Day cash to get that Valentine's Day ass, alright? So here's a few of my tips that you can do so that she's happy and that your wallet is happy. First of all, don't ever believe a girl who says, Baby, you don't have to get me anything. You don't have to do anything for Valentine's Day. It's just any other day, baby. Blah, 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 blah. If any girl tells you she doesn't want you to do anything for Valentine's Day, say it with me now. That bitch is lying! Because every girl, no matter how unmaterialistic she thinks she is, or how anti the system she wants you to believe, she has been conditioned her whole life to believe that Valentine's Day is the night of some special romantic shit. Alright? So unless you want to be in some type of argument and where you don't know what the fuck is going on and she's just, oh, you should know. You know what the problem is. Then you are going to do something. Now some of the dopest things you can do are some of the cheapest things you can do. If you want to do a little day date, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Look, all you got to do is get like a bucket of chicken from KFC or Church's or Shakey's or, or a honey kettle or whatever your favorite place to get chicken is. Get a little bottle of uh, sparkling apple cider, get some champagne glasses, blindfold her, uh, set up a little blanket in the park, you know, get a little, uh, uh, a little stereo with her favorite songs on there. Now you got a nice romantic picnic date and bitches love picnics. Next thing you know, she's drunk off apple cider, her belly is full from chicken, she's horny, you getting your dick sucked in the park. Or you can even do that whole thing at the beach, you know what I'm saying? Rent one of them little uh, bicycle carts, which are not expensive to rent. You take her on a little uh, beach ride, watch the sunset, set up the food. Next thing you know, she got sand in her toes, She got uh, she's drunk off apple cider. You getting your dick sucked on the beach! Or if you got dinner plans and you want to kick it up a notch, instead of going somewhere, because you're broke, I know, Go to the grocery store, get some groceries, and try and cook her some dinner. Even if it's disgusting, she will appreciate it so much that you went outside of your box and put the time and effort into trying to cook her something. You know what I'm saying? Cook her some dinner, light some little scented candles, which are also cheap. Light some candles, um, kick back, get her favorite movie, put it on the TV. Um, and now you guys got a nice little romantic night alone. She's eating your disgusting food. She's watching Anchorman. Next thing you know, you you're getting your dick sucked on the couch! <laughs> For real though, girls like when you put in the effort to do something different, you know what I'm saying? It, when they know that you put your time and your love into something, even if it's a whack-ass meal, even if it's like, you know, a drawing or some corny, like, I mean, I know this sounds corny, man, but Valentine's Day is the day to be corny, you know? Draw her something, uh, 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 make her something, uh, write her a poem. Okay, look, look, look. I'm going to give you guys my hints, my clues, my tips on how to write a good uh, love poem for a chick. Anybody can write some, oh, I love you, I want to be with you forever, that same regular shit, right? But here's some quick tips. If you're going to write a, a love song slash poem for your chick, um, write down every detail that you can remember about the relationship. First date, what she wore, uh, like, you know, uh, what y'all ate, how she wears her hair on Wednesdays, when she does laundry, what's her favorite um, food to get at McDonald's and shit like that. Write all these details down, okay? And make sure that these are all like the punchlines of your poem, meaning they're like the second lines, all right? So let's say she wore a blue dress the first time you guys hung out, right? So, um, you just write a bunch of shit that rhymes with blue dress, okay? Yeah, we didn't get food yet. Um, you use crest. Um, I need a new vest, right? So these are all the first lines. So then you say some shit like, um, the first time we went out, I wanted a new vest. But then I was so surprised to see you in that blue dress. And shit like that. She's gonna be like, oh my god, he remembered. He's so or let's say her favorite thing to get from McDonald's is a Big Mac, okay? So then you just, um, uh, 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 um, uh, sick raps, okay? So then you, so then you write, now baby, I know uh, I can't really write no sick raps, but uh, I just want to be your favorite, like a Big Mac. And then she's going to be like, oh, he knows me so, oh my god, oh my god, oh. 
So to all my broke lover boys out there, I hope this was helpful, man. I know a lot of this shit seems corny. It's Valentine's Day. I'm sorry to the single people out there because, honestly, I'm super in love and I'm super happy. And I love my chick and I'll do anything for that girl. I'll probably even suck her toes. All right? Peace. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you. King shit.